I started by saying I'm going to rescue donkeys. And of course the standard reaction was, well, the, you know, what, what about the people? Why can't you rescue the people? As if you, you can only have so much compassion in your life. You either give it to animals or you give it to the people. And I think compassion grows. You know, once you become aware of the people around you, the more love you, you have, the more it can grow. Um, so the people were very, uh, they ridiculed this project, but I didn't care. It didn't bother me. I expected it. And it's amazing how things change because I, I didn't get defensive and say, start arguing with them. No, animals have rights and stuff. I just, I, I went along with them. So um, without directly confronting people, um, by absorption, they're starting to be more aware of animals now and starting to care more for them. And I'm thinking that's, my hope is that's going to be the case for the children uh, because they don't have all this um, propaganda that's uh, been built into the society about how animals are just there to eat or just there to use for labor. I never really liked dogs. I was a cat person. I, didn't, I thought they were noisy and kind of they are yappy and not really very bright. Uh, and then we started getting these dogs that are street dogs. This is a rescue dog. He's been in the street his whole life. Uh, all these dogs were rescued, every one of them. We have 11 dogs now. Um, and I just said, okay, well, they're, they're, you know, I believe what they said, that these rescue dogs are mean and, and they bite and they have rabies and they're sick. Um, and they're just, look at, they're so lovable. And I, I don't understand how that happened, how they love humans so much. And it's so easy for them to love humans. Even though I doubt this dog has ever been treated well in his whole life. And they just really want to be loved. And they're willing to give so much love too. The other big surprise is how much personality the donkeys have. Because you normally see them in the street, they're just very quiet and they just do what they're told. But they actually have a very strong personality. They're all really different. I decided to do a sanctuary because I felt that the, the culture in, in Palestine had become very tense um, and the, so many children had PTSD from all the violence they were subjected to. So I felt the one thing they needed was um, some, some mental healing. I don't want people to think that, oh, this, everything is fine. We're all happy here. Everybody's living together and there's no need to resist anymore. I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying the resistance has to continue. Um, but while you're resisting, you should, you should take care of yourself mentally so you can be positive. And I'm hoping this sanctuary will, will make people think of positive solutions. Uh, I want to have regular visits from schools um, so that, you know, yes, they learn they learn how to play with the animals, they learn to love animals, but it's not just one time and then they forget it. They come here and it's a regular weekly thing and it becomes more ingrained in them that you know, they can, they can um, love animals and not fear them so much. And the kids that have come here, they've been here three, four hours. And you know, I wondered uh, what kind of activities we should have for them. But they don't need activities. Um, they, they, just, they spend their whole time playing with the animals and running around outside. After three or four hours, they don't want to leave. They'd say, come on, we have to go back on the bus. And none of the kids want to leave because they, they love being outside in nature so much. And they usually don't have much chance, especially in the refugee camps, which, um, you know, they're, they're so crowded and they're all concrete. They don't really see nature very much. So when we get kids from camps, they really just, they'd love to just stay here for hours. That, that's my vision is to, again, it's to, to um, make, you know, give people a little bit of sunshine in their life in a very tough environment where for an hour or two, three hours, they, they can just be kids and just enjoy life.